What's up, guys? Of course, welcome to our Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours true love, of course, this Skyrender. And well, today we're going up against just Meanwhile. And well, what to say? This guy is the, the guy I've been really partnering with since we started 2013, December, to Pocketubing. So this is a very, very long time Pocketubing friend. Uh, he's a great guy. I definitely recommend you guys checking him out. He just hit 1,000 subscribers, just like me, but I hit that like four months ago but I haven't really earned a new subscriber since then so this guy is on a roll so definitely 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 check this guy out because he's he's just overall a very great battler and I think um, going up against him was very very tough because he's very very competitive and I tend to forget that going up against him after being a long like break between us so um, looking for his team here we got Rhydon, Mantine, Raichu, Meganium, the freaking Sork and Lipod and um, I myself using Machoke, my own Meganium, uh, Marowak, Caracosta, Magneton, which just basically came down just here, and Lapras. Because Lapras is actually very, very good in NU, um, definitely walls a lot of very, very tough pokes. And Lapras can deal with almost everything on his team besides, and I will stress this out, besides the Sork, which actually is the major threat, because Sork does super effective damage on three of my pokes, and I have nothing that resists. Ghost, I was gonna say, but I need a ghost. Uh, but Sork, and I think knowing that was something I was really scared of because I know that this Sork is gonna be the issue of this battle, and I have to find a way to deal with that. So, without further ado, let's go. So, right, starting off, I felt that Machoke was my best lead, or rather, I should say, Machoke is definitely putting a pressure on his team, besides the live part, I think. I do have a major moment on my side against the uh, life pod, but it's gonna show me fake out and life orb. So I was really feeling that um, it feels that he could pack to play rough, and if so, I'm gonna get a major, major issue damage on me. But uh, I'm actually just gonna switch out to my magneton. He's gonna go for U turn. That was the butt was for, huh? Uh, but anyway, <laughs> smooth. Um, I have to do something here, and I'll do the worst kind of play, because this means one thing. He's free to go for the Sork. And Sork is just too dangerous for me to deal with, and I can't risk him. Um, since he showed me the Mold Breaker, I can't risk an Earthquake, because that would just destroy the Magneton. I'm not sturdy, I am an Electric. So he's gonna go for close combat, that's a good thing. Uh, Xenon is the only thing, or Marowak is the only thing that can deal with that, but I, he can only deal with that once. Once I retaliate, I will stress that enough, once and retaliate, so that means that I have no safe switches left to the close combat. And that is decided, what is that, like 5 turns in the game? Something like that. And I just go for knockoff, I know he's not gonna stay in, he's not risking that damage. And of course this thing is really forcing me out, so he will actually switch back to this monster of a Pokemon predicting me so well. And I have Meganium that's gonna come, come in. I was really thinking like, all right, you know what? Go for your Ice Punch. Make me go into my Overgrow range. And I can retaliate with a Petal Dance. He is not even doing that. He is not even doing that much damage. And the worst part is, neither am I. <laughs> and I do tempt the Sork, but since it isn't stirred, it kind of isn't gonna matter. So I'm gonna go back into Behringer because he's logged into Ice Punch after all, and that is a very very safe switching for me. And um, since he has. The monstrous Pokemon that is both Mantine and the Fatshu, the Raichu. I kind of is forced to lock myself into Flash Cannon. Uh, even though Flash Cannon is resistant to Mantine, I still know that you know I'll do some damage. And uh, he's gonna go for Focus Blast there. I'm sure of it. There was no reason for him to switch out if he didn't have that. So he's gonna do he's pretty much just trying to sack my Aromath. And uh, what do you know? The Meganium, my beastly, beastly Aromath, is going to deal with that. Fairly well, and that is awesome. And he's not gonna risk that miss and losing his right you. He's gonna switch his, into his own response, which actually is his own Meganium. And I'll say like this: since I am in such a low HP, I, there is no reason for me of actually doing anything besides sacking this guy off, and that's actually what I'm gonna do. And um, he is really not doing any damage to me. I, honestly, I'm not doing anything either. Uh, I think my resistant damage is still like in the, uh, I guess it's a 5 hit KO range. So he's just gonna stall me out to so getting a, at least a better amount of HP. And then he's gonna finish it up with the Dragon Tail. So I'm finally gonna go down. And uh, that's the first Pokemon lost through this game. No, that's the Marowak. My bad. Um, 
Or actually, no, I haven't lost it yet. <laughs> anyway, he's just gonna keep going for it. I mean, I get him. I really do. And um, I'm just gonna go for Flash Cannon. I'll definitely do around 50% here. And I think he felt that, right, he's gonna lose all his synthesis before that, so it's very risky for him staying in. And yeah, I, maybe I should have over predicted here, gone for a Thunderbolt, but I just I didn't have it in me. So I went for another Flash Cannon. And now I see what it's all about. He wanted to um, lure me in to use uh, the Thunderbolt and getting the fat shoot that generally awful, awful, awful boost that he can get. And uh, I'm not falling for that. I know exactly what you're all about. So I'm just gonna keep going for Flash Cannon because I wasn't really sure that the man tank could do anything to me anyway. And uh, what well, do you know? The fat shoot is gonna come in, and now <laughs> it's in a bad range. Um, I'm gonna be honest and say that this Pokemon is very, very dangerous either way because there is not a whole lot I can do to it. I can't outspeed it. I lack the speed of my team, and here is where a Marowak goes down. So I lose my second Pokemon here, and uh, yeah, that is really tough. I'm really feeling that, you know, I don't have the stamina to deal with these offensive cores that he got. So I'm just gonna try to fret him out with a faking the Aqua Jet and go for a Stone Edge. And he's gonna go into his Autumn, the poor, poor bastard that is Meganium. And uh, yeah, yeah, th 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 this is gonna hurt, like, real bad. And uh, Autumn is gonna go down. Uh, Chief is a Rhyperior set with Choice Band, and I really just wanted to try that one out. So here is the free switch into Sork. Actually, I just forgot about this thing. This thing is the just the end of my existence. There is I have no, like I said, safe switch-ins. So I'm just gonna sack selfie because the Chief has priority, which means I can use it in different fashions than I can with this poor guy. And uh, no, seeing that. My, my choke with the Violet is not taken as well is just the end of me because I do realize that alright that means that everything that now comes into the close combat is gonna go down there is no way of working around that uh, I'm just gonna go back to Chief and I have to force him out with the Aqua Jet I'm not gonna fake it this time I have need to play safe because I, I think I only have three Pokemon left now and that is uh, the Lapras I got my Magneton and I got this Caracosta so none of them are even want to feel a close combat. All three of them are weak to it. And sadly here, he is actually going to switch to his man time, which is the safest move he can do, really. And I'm just going to go to Vornal, which is Lapras. Entering Lapras, really. Hey, never <laughs> coming yet. And of course, the Water Absorb is pretty much just denting this Pokemon through and through. And I'm just going to go Freeze Dry. I know he has nothing that really likes taking a Freeze Dry. And Lapras is actually de respawn for the rest of his team. Uh, if Sork gets out of the way, then I have won, and I knew that going in, that Sork is the only thing now threatening me, which is great, and I'm not going to really risk uh, getting the fake out going, I need to have my Lapras at such a good HP as possible, and then see if I can retaliate. Uh, he's actually going to have the Sucker Punch combination, and I'm not going to lie, that's, that's really bad, that is really, really, really bad, because, well... There is not a whole lot I can do from that range, and Flash Cannon, yes, it will take it out, because... Yeah, I think I have like 1 HP left, so that's that's kind of why. And... <laughs> of course, the bird, the monster, the beast that is this Sork is gonna come back. I don't know how many times I've said that now, and I'm not gonna risk Magneton, I just... I'm not. And I'm gonna go to Chief, because I am... Ooh, what do you call it? Uh, tough Rock or anything like that, that makes me at least resist damage a little bit by 25%. 25% might have saved me there, just might have, and um, yet again, I'm not gonna overstay my welcome and overpredict. I'm just gonna go for the Aqua Jet, Mantine is sadly gonna come back in, and um, luckily for me though, he's not really getting any HP, and I still need the priority of this um, Pokemon, I just, I can't do anything besides that, and um, I am actually keep going for Aqua Jet thinking that he would switch out, Sally wasn't, but it did miss the Air Slash, and uh, since it showed me Air Slash, I'm just going to go to Behringer because I know I can leave the combination of Air Slash and Scald and then go for Rest. And that's what I'll do. So he's going to go for Scald, I do leave it. And uh, there wasn't really any question, I knew I could take it, but uh, it looks really, really brutal when it's that far behind. But it is that simple that Mantine is not that specially oriented, or most of them aren't. So, um, yeah, I think showing him Rest got him going a little bit, which was great. So he's gonna go to Fat you, and I have sleep talk on this thing. So all I need right now is a flash cannon, and that will prevail just fine. And I can't take a close combat through when I have full HP. Sadly, I score a rest here, and he's gonna go for focus blast, but miss. 
which means that all right we got this in the bag i'm gonna go for another sleep talk and now now i should got this now i should got this right 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 no rest and sadly guys he will pull up this freaking beast of a move that is the focus blast and that is the end of my magneton sadly sadly it is luckily though i do have ice shot on my voronald and um I'm just gonna go for it, uh, there is no way I would uh, try to do anything differently and that is gonna take out the fat shoe and uh, now the Sork is gonna come back in, I know that um, there is there's just uh, <laughs> the way it is and from the amount of HP I kinda knew I lost no matter how I do this so I decided to switch out and um, going into Chief making him for rather he's gonna go for close combat anyway I was hoping that either he has no PP up on his close combat and that would be really nice or um, that it wasn't strong enough to take out Lapras because if Lapras survives this close combat then I have won because his last two Pokemon is the Mantine and Rhydon and they do not outspeed the Lapras but sadly guys and I mean sadly I am not able to take this close combat and I was debating if I should go for an ice shot or not but I sure would not have killed it, even with the defense drop, because I am not invested in attack whatsoever. And sadly, this is where Lapras goes down, and uh, that is GG. So yeah, it was a free win in uh, Jack's favor, but it was much closer than I really thought it were. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll, this is like my afterthought set here. And I'm gonna be honest and say that I was super frustrated that I lost a sock. Uh, that is one of those things that um, I usually plan my teams enough to deal with common threats, but this was one of the times when I wasn't, and it turned out that that was really the end of my, well, of my battle, really. I had a few plays that actually made this battle worse for me, and when I stopped over-predicting was the time I actually lost everything I had built on, because I needed a lot of momentum, and I needed the Sork out of the way. If the Sork wasn't left, then I would have... I actually would say that I would have won this battle because he had nothing for Lapras, he could prevail. Even with the Raichu having the super effective damage, it would not do enough due to me being Assault Vest. And um, yeah, like I said, super frustrating, but at the same time, my opponent is a very good player and he, very, he came through really well here. I think I stressed him out there with the Sleep Talk rest with the Magneton, but he kept going for it and... Um, you know, eventually he will strike with a Focus Blast, and he definitely he did that eventually there. And uh, I think that play was the deciding play for both of us, since I was able to deal with a one close combat from him with my Magneton. So Jack was definitely the fair player here. He he won fairly. Uh, he really did, and he played a, fair, a very, very good game through and through. He was a very worthy winner when all was said and done. So Jack, thank you so much for that battle. And for you guys who haven't checked him out, make sure to do just that. He's awesome. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, of course, make sure to leave your stat a like. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And remember, the sky is the limit. So have a good day, guys, and take care, alright? Bye.